Can you guess where we are? Can you? I know where we are. Oh, okay. Can you I'm guess where we are? I'm to different locations all the time at the moment, but I do know where we are. <laughs> do you keep forgetting where, where you... <laughs> to make sure I'm going to the right place. Yeah. So, if anybody knows, this is a church on the top of a hill that overlooks the canal. And if we turn around... And in the concept of keeping things going, if you know where we are, then shout. But if we keep going... The houses here are beautiful. There's a nice little village pub. There is... A bakery that two people have recommended to us. Not a bakery, a butcher's. A butcher's. Two people have recommended to us today, but it's closed today. Yep. And we've walked up from Braunston Canal to the top of the hill. So that's where we are today. Braunston. The... Mecca centre yeah. of the canal, apparently, from something Tash turned around and said earlier. It was the what did I'm you sure say? I'm sure the head offices were here when the canal started to be constructed. I need to have a look. I'll look it up for the Grand Union. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Oh, okay. They'd commit all that one, wasn't they? I don't know until I look it up. I don't want to get shouted at for getting it wrong. Oh well, choose to get it wrong anyway. We've come th for a walk through Braunston on the one day off that she's got, so she's managed to land herself here. Um, and yeah, she knows. we move on again tomorrow, don't we? Mm. You go back to Bournemouth. I was going to say Bournemouth then. Bournemouth. And I move on. Well, I'm going to have to find him again at the end of the week. <laughs> so have you got a tracking beacon? <laughs> I should put a track beating on your phone, shouldn't I? Morning. It's Monday morning. Somebody's ran away and sorry for being all dressed up and ready to get wet because that's what it's doing today. Yep, we're at Braunston, ready to move on. Um, don't think you'll be seeing an awful lot in video work today because the phone's not waterproof, so we'll see what we can do. But we're going to go through Braunston, we've got 13 locks and one tunnel. Uh, wouldn't move, but I've got rid of Tash and we've got an appointment tomorrow. She's arranged for me to connect up with the guy called Gary um, sometime tomorrow. But I've got to be there before 10 o'clock or after half past four, I think it is. So I've got to get them done. We moved the van yesterday from Braunsnort to, to Gayton where we're heading to, so we've got about 17, 17 and a half miles to go. Um, it's half past 10, so it means it's either a long day or a very early start tomorrow morning. So I'm going to crack on. We're going to travel through Braunston. I'll try and get some video for you. Like I say, we've got the tunnel once we get through the first half of the locks. But with it raining, I don't think the camera will be too good for it. So let's see how we get on. As you can hear, the engine's running. Um, so. Let's crack on. Don't know whether you can see it. Can't get the because the screen's wet. Lambs. We've got lambs for the first ones. Well, first ones for you to see of the year. But we've seen about three or four now during the course of travelling. But due to the fact that they've been behind uh, behind trees or whatever. I haven't been able to get anywhere close enough to, to get a picture for you. So, the Toll House here at Braunston. This is the beginning of Braunston Marina as you come from the junction. Make out the boat at the back. And just in front of the marina entrance is the cafe boat. Not that it was open yesterday, it's not open today, and probably open from the height of the season really with people coming. So Easter, we've gone Goozler's Rest, it's probably open, but there's normally boards out and a big milk churn I think, there you go, open from 9 till 2, and painted up. So, there we have 
the entrance into the marina with the traditional work route on the doorway. And what you find as you're travelling, boat was jump side by side. Well, leapfrog is wobbly boater again. Caught up with Alan yesterday and, and Tina. Um, said hi, had a proper chat with them. Um, so we'll, I'm sure we'll see them on our travels. I know we'll see them at Linslade. We've got them for Easter. Moving on under the bridge, most of these now are private moorings. Um, Braunston is a mecca for, and apart from having the marina, um, the village up the top of the hill, if you come under bridge one, it takes you to the butchers. Apparently the butchers is reputed to be absolutely fantastic. Um, it's opposite a little co-op shop, uh, or the equivalent to a co-op shop. Uh, but we haven't had a chance to get there. It was shut yesterday being Sunday. Today is Monday and I haven't had the inkling. We're trying to get Tash off, back off to work um, to turn around and get up there this morning. But uh, we've been told the veg is decent up there too. So we'll do that on the way back up because we'll end up coming through. Enjoy the ride. Cheers for that, Chief. Thanks for that. Morning, boys. How are we? How do you want to do this then? <laughs> do you want me to rope up on the. Is that you, wherever you want? So that's the first lock done, and I've been very fortunate. There was two lock keepers on, um, but they're going for a brew now, and then they're going home because they're not expecting to see many today. Um, so it leaves me to do the other six out or the other five out of Braunston on my own, and uh, well, I think I'm going to have to empty them because this has got loads of water going over the top. Two down, and too dumb and I haven't had to do them I've had lock keepers on the first one and then two boats coming down so that means all these are in my favour now um, had to empty that one though and just as I was emptying it uh, some hires came from Australia through and then there was a boat from Shardlow or registered to Shardlow so um, between them they, they did the actual filling of the lock for me to stay on board and uh, it means now that all these locks are in my favour provided there isn't another boat filling them up as we go down but on to number three outside the Admiral Nelson so here we are lock three the Admiral Nelson we frequented in there one evening with our friends Tony and Dad and uh, so we're halfway up the first three well we're filling the the halfway up the first three but um, yeah we have another three to go then we have the tunnel and then we've got new waters because once we get to the Leicester Junction me and Tash haven't been any further south and I know as soon as we get to the junction we have um, the first of the I think we call it the Buckby flight of six um, it's still part of the, the Grand Union, um, camping up from uh, the top of this one, so that will become Lock 7 um, to 13. So, it stopped raining, so let's hope it stays like that for a bit. Apparently the ne Admiral Nelson used to be a farm, and where the restaurant is now, I think the other side, is where the cows used to have been milked, but apparently if you're into your paranormal, there is a figure in black that walks through to that house. How true it is, don't know, haven't seen it, but you can only go by what you've been told. It's amazing what you see. 
at various different blade buildings, bird boxes. Back end of the canal boat. How cool is that? So that's the top of Braunston flight of six. We've got a little while, we've got a tunnel to go through before we get there uh, to the next lot, um, which will be at the Leicester Navigation junction of the Grand Union. And that will be as far as we've been. But for the time being, by Braunston. Um, it's stopped raining just for a little while. So let's see how we get on. It'll, it'll get wet inside the tunnel, so we'll see just how we do. Just about to go into the tunnel, Braunston Tunnel, which is marking the end of uh, Braunston, I suppose would be the best way. If you don't know where Braunston is, it's Daventry. Uh, so like, that's where the general bit is. It's about four miles outside of Daventry, but once I get out of the tunnel, I'll be the other side of Daventry. We've got about, I think it's a mile and mile, eh? But we'll see how we get on. I'll try not to bounce off the side. The nav lights have gone on. Uh, navigation lights, the red light and the green light for port and starboard. Um, the headlights gone on. So we'll give a beep into the horn just before we go in. And then we'll go for it. See how we do. can't see the other end. So the length is 1,873 metres, uh, its width is 3.81 and the height 2.2. .2. So there you go. Sign which we'll try and get later on but I can't see the other end. I'll see you later, I'll tell you how we get on. Can you see there's something wrong with that boat? If I get a little bit closer you might be able to see. You might not be able to see it too well now. But there's definitely something wrong with the front of that boat. You've got the green light on. You've got a red one on the other side, but the headlight's not on. Yep, yeah, the blue, the bulb's blown. So, part way through Remedy the tunnel. to that, thanks to a gentleman called Kip. And uh, I'll show you in a minute when I get down the back. Hopefully this is gonna work. The light works. It's how long it's gonna last for. So, <sighs> yes. It's a bit scary when the, the light disappears in a tunnel. You bounce off the side of the tunnel and you deal with it. So, <laughs> every day's a school day, they say, don't they? Right, I'm going to flip the screen and then you'll see what. It's handy I didn't get rid of that bad battery, wasn't it? It's not completely decimated, but we took it off. It's our starter battery that was on and I haven't got rid of it yet because the actual positive terminals corroding but Kip gave us a homemade headlight wires and well I had a couple of terminals left over and if I very carefully connect that up we have light so I'm going to see whether there you go I'm going to see whether I can get off and this will actually work through the tunnel. We've got to try these things, haven't we? I knew there was a reason that headlight would come in handy. Right, go and cast off and see whether we can get on with this. Um, I'll try not to bounce. It's working. I'm trying to do this with, with great difficulty. But that's given us some illumination, hasn't it? And I thought, what's he giving me this for? And it's worked. Everything for a reason, for him it's easy. I love it. Thanks, Kip. So that was a bit of an adventure. But I will tell, turn around and say one thing. You see things from a completely different perspective when the light's with you. The roof was, was amazing. So 
it's uh, definitely one of them ones of, to turn around and do again. But uh, it was just fortunate we hadn't got rid of the ledger battery and Kip had turned around and given us the headlight on a stick. Um, thank you very much, Kip. And uh, let's crack on. So we're just under two miles from the junction with the Leicester Navigation Arm, or Arm River so, um all the way up to Loughborough. We did that last year and we're going to turn right and then go up the Bookby Flight there. Sorry, I'm paying attention to the boats I'm going past. Um, that's going to be interesting because that's news waters and Tash isn't with me. That means I'm going to break the rule that we made out was when we started out. Um, anyway, boat's here for you. There's another dream catcher. That's what we started out at. Hello, how are you? There's a lot of surface water coming off fields. And it's been like that all the way up the flight today. Running off the bridges, down the steps, down the just the towpath, off the field, straight over the towpath, loads of laying water, um, lots of overflowy lock gates as a result of two. Turned out beautiful, overcast, it stopped raining, but we can slowly keep moving, and that's all we like. So we're into about a mile from the junction. Still got a fair bit to go. Uh, as soon as we get past the junction, we have the first of six locks up, six or seven locks up, the Buckby flight as they call it. Um, and like I say, that's new waters to us. So let's see how we get on. Still heading for Gaten. That's where the van is. That's where I've got my appointment for tomorrow morning. So hopefully if it stays like this, I'll, uh, I'll be there and for the, the appointment. So there you go, tollhouseboatsales.com and that's the Leicester branch, Leicester navigation. And then we have Brentford, 89 and a quarter miles. See how we do. Doesn't look as though nobody's in. So there you go, another video. Scary, isn't it? Was it Harry Rotter at the canal stop of Canal Wart? The black figure through the wall at the Admiral Pub. Want to go and find out? Go and see for yourself. See whether you see him. Um, yeah, another learning curve. Make sure you have a bulb. Didn't think about it. That's when I had to go up for an eight mile walk to get. But, always carry a spare. There's your learning for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Continuing the travels possibly next week of soloing down the Grand Union. Um, don't know whether Tash will be with me next week. Uh, can't remember where we got to with Tash being about. But, it's one to do. I'll say see you next week, push that button, ring that bell, subscribe free, it's to, free to everybody and uh, don't forget to share us, don't forget to follow on the, the, the socials, see where we are, see whether you want any cleaning products because um, we're more than welcome, if not just message Tash and she'll advise you when and where we might be able to help you out with that, um, I'll see you next week, see you later, enjoy, keep safe.